Now again, the Boston Celtics are in the penalty, so any foul would send New Jersey to the free throw line. Obviously, for the Nets, they want to get it in kids' hands. What do you expect from them? Well, I think it's harder to defend a team like the Nets. You think Jason Kidd will have the ball in his hands. With Boston, it's pretty simple. You know where they want to go, to one guy or the other. The Nets are harder to predict. They came out in the last timeout and went to Keith Van Horn, who's been carrying them recently, the last couple possessions. I think you've got to put it in Jason Kidd's hand and let his initiative create the situation. Throughout the postseason, Byron Scott has been just wonderful in diagramming plays during a timeout, and they almost work to perfection. He's been a master of that in the postseason. Let's see what he diagrams for this final play, this crucial play. Well, the one danger against the Boston Celtics, Nets love to run a pick and roll with Jason Kidd, but the Celtics trap pick and rolls. So you put Jason Kidd in the pick and roll, they'll double team him and try and get him to give it up. Kittles will inbound, Kerry Kittles, along with Lucius Harris, Van Horn, Kenyon Martin, and Jason Kidd. 120 left, 20 second timeout left for the Nets if they need it. Everyone on their feet at the Fleet Center. Kidd tied up. He doesn't want to give it up. Finds Harris. Harris drives, draws the foul, and he'll shoot two. Lucius Harris with an aggressive move, and he'll go to the free throw line with 6.6 seconds remaining. There aren't a lot of players who are going to sit there calmly and accept a double team and just wait and see who's open. Lucius Harris gets the ball and drives against the taller Tony Petit. Harris, 88% from the line in the playoffs. Knocks down the first, nets back up by one. That foul was on Petit, his fifth. Now, Boston will still have plenty of time, even if Harris hits this one, as they have two timeouts remaining. Free throws from Lucius Harris, the oldest member of the New Jersey Nets. Knocks them both down, and a two-point advantage. Well, we said it would be easier to figure out. Just figure out which one. It's going to Antoine Walker or Paul Pierce. Harris now takes off the mask, one that he's been cleared to take off, but because he's shooting the ball well, he's decided to play through it. He broke a bone on the side of his face during a game in mid-March. <laughs> likes the way it feels, and it certainly didn't bother his vision there. Knocks them both down. Free throws. You and Jason were talking before the in interview started that free throws will be huge. You'll need to do some practice on your free throws. Yeah, we do. You know, neither team really shot free throws and well tonight, and we kind of canceled each other out. So, um, obviously, when the game's on the line, we need to make those free throws. And uh, Lucius, at least, when, the, when he had the biggest shots of the night, really stepped up and made uh, them. What can you say about the Nets bouncing back the way they did, and especially after blowing a lead again, yet hanging on? Well, I thought they did a great job. They made the big free throw when it mattered. Documentary, The Price for Peace. New